Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're going to be playing in the Popper Showcase Challenge with uh, Tron Alter. So once again we are bringing it in. Going to the big show. This specific event is qualifying for the Showcase Qualifier, I guess. And then that qualifier, if you win that, goes to the Magic Online Championship Series. So definitely trying to do my best today, trying to see what we can manage. Uh, after a lot of testing, I was pretty confident in this main deck from last week. I've changed the sideboard, getting rid of Smash to Dust for a third Kark Clan Shaman and a third Scattershot. I just feel that Scattershot is the best way to deal with Mono Blue, and uh, that Smash to Dust doesn't do that much in a Walls matchup, so I'm going to rely on Kark Clan Shaman. Uh, one Serene Heart here for Vogels, and then one more, one Pulse of Marasa, since we have a sideboard slot, uh, moving that third Weather the Storm into the main deck. Weather the Storm, but Pulse of Marasa is good against Land Destruction and hopefully a little bit more uh, life gain versus red. Two Fangin Marauders here to close the door versus red, as well as uh, get out of range and mid-range matchups where they're not doing a lot of removal spells. Then three uh, spell bombs here for the flicker decks and one grudge for dealing with the relics. So the plan here is to leverage our seven draw twos and uh, move through a deck until we get to the point where we use our Ashnod's altar, sacrifice a creature at two mana, sacrifice mirror retriever, which costs two mana. It returns the second mirror retriever from the graveyard, so we create a mana neutral loop putting infinite counters on our golem foundry to make infinite 3-3s. Three but in reality, we're going to make generally 10 3-3s three and swing out. We have a makeshift munitions in the main deck to close the door on our opponent, as well as deal with pesky creatures and do slow loops where we can pay 3 mana to sacrifice a mirror retriever, get a mirror retriever, and deal 1 damage. Uh, and then we have 2 crop rotations to get fast drawn, deal with land destruction strategies. Blood Fountain creates an infinite loop where we have, when we have infinite mana, golems, etc., and an energy refractor, we can draw through our deck with the two mirror retrievers, returning uh, Blood Fountain and one artifact, then Blood Fountain gets back the two mirror retrievers over and over to draw through our deck. The Conjurer's Bobble here I like as a one of. It helps to get back the makeshift munitions if it gets destroyed, and it can put back one of our seven draw twos to make it an effective eight draw twos on the deck, or nine or ten. And uh, I really like trying to use the Conjurer's Bobble as much as possible for the draw twos to force through our deck more. It also adds a little bit of an additional protection against relics, but it's mostly there so that we always can get back makeshift munitions no matter what. That's the deck. I've covered it a lot in the past. Um, I'm also considering, which I'm not going to make this change, but if there's a lot of wildfire, you could potentially go up a swamp and down a grotto. And I really think that it's better to have the three grottos because of the scry equity and being able to make green or black. So that's why I'm doing it that way. It also helps post board to cast Quark and Scattershot and Grudge. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, if you're interested in checking out the sideboard guide for this specific list, maybe for Popper getting next week, let me know. Uh, and hit me up in the Patreon, patreon.com slash Calikais, linked below. Check, uh, check it by getting onto that uh, Patreon and uh, hit me up with a like and subscribe. We're going to do our best today. Take every match uh, at a time. I'm in different locations, so hopefully there's not too many jiggles with the camera and stuff. But my, my desk is a little wiggly here at the standing desk, and uh, hopefully it's not too disruptive. Just don't pay attention to the camera. Pay attention to the match. <laughs> we'll see you in the matches. All right, we're here in round one versus Dennis Shivish Alexi or something. We're going to keep... They then on Jeskai Ephemerate, which makes this swamp really bad in our hand. But what are you going to do? Planes. Okay. No Thraven Inspector. We draw a tower, which makes crop good. Turning on uh, Tron if we find a colored source. Okay, second planes. Squadron Hawk. All right. Well, <laughs> this is what maybe uh, White Weenie? They grab three more hawks. Okay, we have the retriever loop. We got a wellspring here. Draw a card. Pass the turn. We have a reckoner's bargain. I think end step bobble to draw a card. We could reckoner's bargain and then bobble. It's probably a better play. Or we can play astronaut's altar first to not have to draw a discard. 
Golem Foundry. What's that mean? So we almost have the combo. I'm gonna bobble to try to draw into a colored source. We just draw <laughs> just draw the turn four, okay. Golem Foundry, Light Ashdown's altar. Pass the turn. Okay. Well that's a nice start. Turn four combo. They're gonna swing in for no more than six this turn, and then no more Okay, it's gonna be three. We can go up three with the Reckoner's Bargain. We can retrieve her for Bobble. So we're gonna draw like five cards this turn no matter what. Of course Skyfisher picks up the Grange. That's fine. All right, Retriever. Okay, get back. Play second Retriever. I'm gonna bargain first. Hmm here using my mana bargain this did not find a colored source so let's play the bauble get back the wellspring or get back the bargain did not find a colored source so we can alter the retriever to get back the retriever doesn't really matter if we get back the retriever or the um i mean the wellspring or the um, bobble here, I think. We just need a colored source to keep going. So what's the maximum they can do here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So minimum, we're gonna try to just combo them, I guess. Play this, a retriever. Is there any reason I want to save mana open? Probably not. So let's go to second main. Sacrifice the Retriever for Retriever, and then we're just going to loop a bunch. So this is going to get me... They have four blockers. They can play another Hawk, maybe five blockers. If we want to win this turn, we have to deal 20 damage, so we have to get seven through. Through five blockers. So we make 12 of them, maybe. Which means go to 36 here. All right, let's go to 36. Just rearranged my windows to make the uh, graveyard a little bit smaller to make clicking easier. Click here. I like to spam click on the mirror retriever where it's going to go to hand so that as soon as it gets there, it gets clicked on. And I press OK with my left hand. Then the problem is if I press OK at the wrong time, it's going to pass my turn here. I think the best plan is to get back the Icar Wellspring because that if I can find a colored source, I can draw another four cards off of it, given, given the Reckoner's Bargain that's in hand already. And we could potentially draw into something to shut the door here. Although I think 36 uh, power is going to be fine. We have to just try to do it as fast as possible. We have 10 more loops to do. Actually, I realize now that I'm going to be playing an artifact, so I only need to go to 35, because when I play that second artifact here, that's going to give me my 36 counters for the 36 power. I'm definitely trying to cover my bases here. don't necessarily need to do this much, but I think it's important to not leave them any options, since we're going to be passing the turn. This is 35. Sacrifice. Get back the Wellspring. Cast the Wellspring. Draw a card. We just draw another Wellspring. We can sacrifice Retriever for Retriever. Play another Wellspring. See what we see? Uh, nothing. So we pass the turn. We have double bargain, or we have uh, two uh, black sources. We can bargain. We're currently at 18. Can they deal with 36 power? They play an idyllic range. This gives them. Okay, then they scoop it up. Thank you. Great for me that they did that. So we drew, we kind of just had the nuts there. Turn four win, especially with our setup, is not that likely. And what I decided to do is bring in the Fangren Marauders, cutting two Golem Foundries. <clears throat> My reasoning here is that Golem Foundry um, spamming Golems is not very useful when they have mostly Flyers, and Fangren Marauders is going to get us out of range of their pump spells. It could get journeyed, so we have to be aware of that when we play it out. We can't Car Clan Shaman to wipe them. 
They could bring in a relic, but we can fight through it with the blood fountain, so that's not that big of a deal. And eventually we'll just munitions them out and win the game. We have 20 minutes to do it. Okay, so we've got two Tron lands, uh, Wellspring, Bauble, Refractor. We can't cast the Deadly Dispute on turn three, but we can go Bauble into Wellspring, so I think that's my plan. We don't expect them to be playing any uh, Ground Pounders, so the Mirror Retriever is going to be kept in hand for later. But we draw an Expedition map, so I'll take that for sure. That gives me turn three Tron if they don't have a Revoke Existence. They're going to play Arafine's Informant, which means that our Mirror Retriever blocker could be good. They discard a Journey to Nowhere. That's extra good for me, actually. I guess they're expecting me to not play out my creatures. Play another Arafine's Informant. So I think what I'm going to do is play out the Mirror Retriever and the Energy Refractor, leaving up Deadly Dispute. Draw a card. Okay, so now we can play Chromatic Star. Before I had to leave up the tower to play the Deadly Dispute, but now I can play the Mirror Retriever into the Chromatic Star and leave that open. That way I can use the, the Chromatic Star to make the black mana to Deadly Dispute the Mirror Retriever to get back to Chromatic Star and draw the cards. Now I get to block. Also ramps me a little bit. Block. So I can choose to Deadly Dispute now or just not. I guess I'm going to take the Expedition map. This allows me to Deadly Dispute on their next turn to get around the Journey of Nowhere. They play another Rafine's Informant. So what I'm trying to do is build up my mana to make this Fangren Martyr ginormous, and, or not ginormous, but gain me a lot of life. They're going to discard. Play a Thraven Inspector. Okay. So we're going to convert this map using the tower. Crack. Grab tower. Play the tower. And then we can go Wellspring. Draw a card. Play Condor's Bobble. Play Mirror Retriever. Pass the turn. So we got to be on the lookout for um, Pump Spell this turn. Next turn we're going to untap with 10 mana. Okay, this looks like a pump spell. This is 10, 11, 12, 13. Easy block. I don't need to Deadly Dispute this. I'm just going to get back to Mirror Retriever. But I am going to Deadly Dispute the Acre Wellspring. They play a Squadron Hawk. Right now we're at 7. Okay. So on the next turn I can play and then crack the thing, the uh, crack some artifacts for the Fanger Marauder to gain a bunch of life. We will be playing into Journey to Nowhere, but we can probably crack a couple of artifacts to gain 10. And then if we can get the second um, Fangren in play, we'll gain a bajillion life. We have the Golem Foundry already for the combo. Blood Fountain. Deadly Dispute this. More mana is good. We find a Weather the Storm. Okay. So we play Power Plant. Go green. Play Fangren Marauder. I'm going to go Expedition Map, crack this for black, maybe not. Trying to think if they're going to bargain my, or kill my mirror, my Finger Marauder. I could just crack this for green right now and cast a Weather the Storm. That's probably the best plan. So this is going to gain me five and cast Weather, gain another nine, pass the turn. Now if they go for, okay, they're going to crack the clue, giving me another 5 life. So I don't want to block the Rafine's Informant, I want to block the Thraven Inspector. They put a counter on the bird. I'm going to play Scared of their Pump Spell because it gives plus 2. They just get in with the bird, okay. Great for me. We're going to bargain, we're going to bobble. Okay, Lunark Veteran. So here's what I'm going to do. Of course, Guy Fisher. So they're adding a bunch of things to the table. Uh, they're getting a lot of life, which is going to make it tough, but we still have 17 minutes. Plays a Squadron Hawk. That's it, it looks like. I think I yielded to these things, so we're good. We bobble back the Deadly Dispute, making it so that we have 8 in the deck. And then we're going to crack the Expedition map. So that recycles, makes it more likely to draw. 
And then I'm going to get a tower, because I just want mana right now. We, we draw the Mire anyway, which would the other thing I ch would choose to draw. I'm going to play Golem Foundry, because I have the Reckoner's Bargain for it. Play Energy Ret Refractor, draw a card. Probably should have played out uh, the second Marauder. That might have been a mistake. Let's play a Blood Fountain. And then play a Mirror Retriever. And then I've got a 3-3 three, three now. And I can pass the turn. So I have, a plenty of, I have plenty of options. I can Blood Fountain some stuff. I can Reckoner's Bargain some stuff. Depends if they have Dust to Dust whatsoever. We're at 34, they're at 23. Soon we're going to start just swinging out with our golems. They crack, give me some life, and draw a card. Plays a core sky fisher. So we're trying to get ahead of relics now. Raven Inspector enters the battlefield. I'm still going to hold up my bargain. Are you going to swing? They swing for five. Sure. No big deal. We're cycling. Then I'm going to discard... The mine, the draw card, gaining life, another mine. Okay, so play, I tap for three, play the star first. That makes me not have to tap for the man, or uh, click the mana for the wellspring. Let's play another Fanger Marauder. Then crack this for black. Deadly Dispute. Okay, this is going to start chugging, so. If we find the combo, we may have to just uh, kill our Fang and Marauders. <laughs> Draw a bunch of cards. We forgot to make a Golem at the end step. Okay, land. Play an Energy Refractor. I could consider sacrificing to... Uh, I don't think there's any worth uh, attacking here. I could consider sacrificing one of these lands, or I could play the, the Swamp, and they're just going to scoop it up. That was nice of them. I feel like this could have dragged out a lot longer, but we uh, had the turn four in game one, and then this game we just had the Marauders and the Tron. Opening up the two lands and top decking a map was really good. Not going to lie. Uh, definitely went our, our way, and I was pretty happy with the sideboard decisions. So we'll see you in match two. All right, we're in round two. Versus against Boots, Alexander Weber. We're on the play. He's been on... Uh, Terror type stuff. This is a really good hand, so I'm going to keep it. We have land into grab the, uh, play the play the map out, right? That's step one. See what he's on. Hopefully not land destruction. White deck. Sacred Cat. Some sort of bully or white weenie. Land pass. So, so it like, looks like the bully gates deck. Okay, yield until the next end step. And we're going to grab our Grotto, make a land drop, pass the turn. We don't want to just run out an unprotected Mirror Retriever into a Journey to Nowhere deck. Take one, bam, Grotto. Do we draw a Cantrip? No. So we Grotto. Crop Rotation we don't want, pass the turn. This next turn we can play Mirror Retriever, Deadly Dispute the Retriever, get the map. We can play the map and, de and Reckoner's Bargain the map, and then do something maybe. We're really looking for a... Wow, he's not going to make a land drop. Okay. We're looking for... Um, pick our Wellsprings here. It's going to whiff on a land drop. Might as well cast your Squadron Hog, right? Pretty surprised to see that. Some players like to skip until their second main before they start doing anything which does allow for the ability to try to check, check your opponent, see what they're up to. Sometimes people have six, so it's a decent plan. I like to play in the main, first main. You know, I, I have no surprises. No surprises. Well, I just noticed that we both have our uh, Electricery avatar. Let's see if it's from the same year. 2019. Cool. Look at us. OGs. Oh, it's pretty sweet. <laughs> what are you going to do? Plays a Squadron Hawk. So we could have we could play a weather storm for six life. It's probably not worth it at all. We don't want to spew them. Obviously they're a Boros deck, Boros Gates deck. They're gonna to have to discard regardless. They discarded prismatic strands, which makes sense. We can actually 
start bonking them with our Mirror Retriever. I don't know if that's worth it. They probably play Dawnbringer Clerics. So I think I'd rather Mirror Retriever into Deadly Dispute here. Um, I want to draw into more stuff, and I don't think that blocking the cat is going to matter at the time. So I'm going to Deadly Dispute the Retriever and get back to map. Draw. So we find a Refractor, which means we can go Refractor, draw a card. Now we have uh, infinite colored sources, play the Expedition map. Next turn we can play the Makeshift and ping some things, or we can Deadly Dispute the map. At this point, with our mana online, the only thing that we're going to map for necessarily is probably the Cycle land. They're Battle Screeching, so they could have a lot going on now. Second Retriever would be hot as an HAWT, where we can start like Retriever looping, paying in some stuff, and then play Weather the Storm with this makeshift munitions. They, we draw it. Okay. So let's go Retriever, play munitions. They decline. All right. I think I'm going to pass. So there's a, there's some options here. I could start paying in their stuff. I think I want to wait and uh, try to get them to do stuff on their turn. We can also ping whatever their leftover creature is. They're going to have to leave creatures behind. We're going to cast a Faithless Looting. So if it's a bully deck, we have to watch out for Rally of the Peasants, which means that every one of these is dealing 3. So 3, 6, or 6 times 3 is 18 damage. They discard a second Strands. Another Battle Screech. Okay. Another Battle Screech. Alright. So we could have responded to that Battle Screech to shoot a Hawk, which would have made them tap the Hawk for the Strands. So that was a mistake. We're going to go shoot your Hawk with the Retriever. They flash back the Strands. Response. Shoot the bird token. Wait, undo. Shoot this bird token that's untapped. Sacrificing this expedition map. No. We can sacrifice the treasure token. They're going to use their second strands. So now we can weather the storm. Bam. Gain a bunch of life. That should get us past their Rally the Peasants. We get back Mirror Retriever. We can start taking out some creatures. Cast another Rally. Probably want to just map for Tower for more mana. Play the Tower. Play Mirror Retriever. Take out a bird. Get back Mirror Retriever. And then play it again. Take out a bird. Get back Mirror Retriever. Play Mirror Retriever again. Pass the turn. They have 8 times 4 is 24. Hopefully they don't have double rally right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That would suck. Plays a Thraven Inspector. So we are playing the long game right now of just ping, ping, ping. Luminous Phantom. So they get another flyer. They don't have enough mana to do anything really of note. So I think I'm going to do nothing here. Is that the best play? If I shoot this, we take 7, go to 20. If I deadly dispute the mirror retriever, that's probably what I want to do. We're going to deadly dispute the retriever. Looking for altar so I can make infinite life. Alt, you know, we just want to combo off, I guess. Draw chromatic star. Okay, pass the turn. They play a hawk. Okay, pass. So Rally the Peasants would be a billion damage at this time. Every one of these would be four or five, so this would be 40 damage. 45, 50 damage. Play Chromatic Star. Black. We're going to Deadly Dispute that. Looking to go infinite here. 
they're wide, they're going very wide. Okay, we can play wellspring. We can throw the wellspring at a bird. Should have thrown it at the phantom, that was a mistake. Um, try bauble, get back the deadly dispute, play another wellspring, fire it at a bird, or we can deadly dispute it. So we're kind of building up storm count here. Dispute this wellspring. Map. There's a golem foundry. Okay. So I think I need to weather the storm here. So I need as much as much storm count as possible. I guess if we lose one mirror retriever, it's okay. We can go retriever. Retriever here. Cast weather the storm. Gain almost almost 30, 27. We're gonna want to take out this luminous phantom. Oh, and they're conceding to that. That's really nice of them. Phew. So how far were we from an altar? Pretty far, it looks like. So this is a similar game plan. We're gonna be bringing in the Fangen Marauders, cutting some foundries. That makeshift munitions was really good. If that had been the fire weaver, we would not have had any of that going on. Ah, <sighs> let's do it. Okay, so this hand is just so risky. Opponent mulligan to six. If we find a second land, this is an amazing hand, but how much risk are we willing to take? I don't think that I'm willing to do it. Mulligan. Ah. Uh. So this hand, I think I'm going to keep. The reason being, I think we have a pretty good chance of finding our second land. We have double cantrip. Get rid of this blood fountain. We also have energy refractor. So we can go turn one chromatic star, and then crack the star to draw a card, play the bobble, and then use the bobble to draw a card, which means we're going to be drawing four or five cards. Haven't counted. Okay, tower, land, star. So we're going to draw one, two, three more cards. So that's four total cards looking for the second land. They play a Fiend's Informant to, to put a 3-2 onto the table. Discarding Prismatic Strands is pretty good. We find a map, so black. We're just looking for that second land. Play Bobble. This is where we get sad. Bobble. I'm the big sad. We. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, that was luck. Uh, well, I mean, I played to the outs, right? You know, we, we gave ourselves four chances to draw it. If they have an abrade here, we're screwed. They have a squadron hawk instead. Yes, that is good for me. So now we can map for mine, play the energy refractor, and all our colors are online, but we don't have that much going on. We have to get the we have to get a couple artifacts in play so that the Fanger Marauder is good. Right now they're swinging out for a bunch. They've got the Basilisk as well. Yo. All right, I'm going to get mine. We're not using our mana this turn, so I'm going to play the Icar Wellspring. That allows me to play the Energy Refractor second and go Deadly Dispute on the Wellspring next turn and to weather the storm. That's my plan. That is my plan. So he's going to untap. Will you blow up my Wellspring? No, they're going to go Faithless Looting, looking for another land. Only thing we want to do is gain life and draw cards. And we've got the Weather the Storm, the Fanger Marauder, and a bunch of card draws. So I feel pretty decent from here. Although we're on the draw. We did have the turn three Tron. Luck sack. Just pile up that bag of luck. It's good to have it in the first couple of games, right? So they got eight cards in hand. What are you going to do? Discards a Hawk and a Cat, plays a Plains. They play a Rafine's Informant. This card's another Hawk. They play the Cat right now, most likely. Rally of the Peasants will deal us a ton of damage here. They get in. We're looking to draw into another land, a tower, and then do stuff. We find a Munitions, Fractor, draw a card, Tower. I think I'm going to go for the Storm Count here. Deadly dispute this wellspring. Draw a card. Draw some more cards. 
play another Wellspring. Draw a card. So this is going to be 12 life. If they have Rally, that's 10, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I think we just weather the storm here. Pass weather, pass the turn. So then the next turn, we can play Fanger Marauder off this man and have three left over, play munitions, and then shoot their thing with Wellspring, gaining 10 life, making them deal with it. Or if we draw into a mirror retriever, we can do stuff. We're kind of hanging out. We play a sacred cat. We can also go Fanger Marauder, three mana left over with the tower, Reckoner's Bargain to Wellspring, gaining five life. They're getting in for eight. Let's meet to 17. Do you have anything else? They dust my colored source. That's quite bad. So that is a major problem. We're going to go Foundry, play Altar, pass the turn. If we find a colored source, we can start throwing the Wellspring at people. What we're looking for now is a Mirror Retriever. That Dust of Dust was on time. Another good thing to have maybe would be, I don't know, I think we're host here. 5, 8, 9, 12, 13. We have one turn. Okay. Can we get there? We need a colored source. All right. Go retriever. We can retriever for the map or the star. The map costs more time, but gives us a colored source forever. I think we take the map. We want that permanent colored source. Play the map. Now we can sacrifice the golem if we need to. Crack the map. Grotto. Play the grotto and see what's on top. A mine, so we can't keep that. The only thing we can do here, I think, is let's see, they have four or five. Let's, this is potentially five damage. Six, seven, eight, nine, fifteen. This would be storm. Uh, I think we have to reckoner's bargain. Hmm. So if I reckoner's bargain now, storm storm would be. If I play the altar into weather, that's 12 life. Doesn't really leave me a lot of options. If I Reckoner's Bargain right now and find a colored source, I can still weather. If I find the Mirror Tree where I have infinite, then I can weather after. If I Fanger Marauder right now, this is a six, I'll have one mana. Still one mana left over. I'll gain, go to nine. So I think the best upside is to Reckoner's Bargain and try to draw a colored source. Mine, not a colored source. Didn't I bottom that? Found the refractor. What a lucky McDucky. Okay, refractor. Draw a card. We can also... It's a storm four. Make a golem. I have to count. This is... Assuming right now this is 5 damage. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 15, 4. This is 15 storm right now. It's going to 16. So one more storm. I think it's probably worth it to alter this. Make it black. Play the fountain for one more storm count. And then green, pass weather the storm, pass the turn. And now we're, you know, looking for them to not have a second copy of Dust to Dust, but we might still be able to get there if they do. They have one card in hand. They played the planes out. So what is their card? Battle Screech. All right. 
Now we are going to be playing the Fangren Marauder and starting to gain a bunch of life. We're going to bobble back, or fountain back the Retriever, play the Retriever, sack the Retriever, get the fountain, blah 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 blah, do the thing. Okay, 5, 10, 13. Okay, they're at zero cards in hand. We find a Wellspring. Step 1, green, Fangren Marauder. Play the Wellspring. That gives me some mana. Okay, draw a card. Tower. Red. Play Munitions. So they can strands right now. We're going to throw the Wellspring at a creature and draw a card and gain some 5 life. Then I'm going to sacrifice this. Okay, we're going to, I think, just let this happen. We can sacrifice the Golem and then Reckoner's Barring this Blood Fountain. If we draw into the Retriever, we can do a bunch of stuff. Okay. So sack this, gain five life. Black. Reckoner's Bargain, the Blood Token. Draw. No Retriever. Pass the turn. We're at 26 now. They have to draw a Rally to win a game. They cracked the clue, giving us another 5 life. That is a good sign. Rafine's Informant gets a loot. Or can I, right? You draw a card, then you discard it. It's a, a loot. Much better than a rummage. What do they discard? So they're looking for Dawnbringer Cleric, Dust to Dust. They discard a Battle Screech, which is really good for them. Right now I have to play around them having Rally on the attacks, so I would have to block the Thraven Inspector. 3, 6, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. How many attackers do they have? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. They have 8 attackers times, times 3 is 24, 30, 32. Okay, they're going to use their Basilisk. They don't have the Rally. Then swing for 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, pass the turn. You got it. I'm not blocking. All right, our turn. I don't think the map is useful right now. I'm going to... I guess I could play the Grotto to see if there's anything good on top. Grotto, no. Bottom that. Make a black. So it doesn't matter once you have the Grottos, or if you use the Grottos or not, because... You can just use the blood, the uh, energy refractor. It's the same amount of lance usage. Play the mirror retriever. Sacrifice the mirror retriever. Get back the fountain. Black. Play the fountain. We're gonna loot away a land. We haven't used the loot admire yet, so I guess I'll do. Can try looting first. But the Polluted Mire is something good to have. We can also just bargain the Expedition Map. Cast the Expedition Map. I guess I should bargain the map. I don't know. Let's crack the map. Kind of just making making plays on the fly here. Getting a bunch of life. We're at 1249. I'm going to cycle. See what we see. The Chromatic Sphere. I'll play that sphere. And I'm going to pass no attacks. We're at 38. I'm looking for a second retriever so I can start pinging all their board. Holy they. Tough. If we get to game three, we're in a position where the time is going to be a problem. So now I have to stop thinking quite so hard. Quite so hard. <laughs> Ugh. We can pop out a golem foundry uh, token. And then Reckoner's Bargain it. Looks like they are going to... Okay, I thought it was going to be a Dust to Dust. It's a flashback uh, looting. They discard Looting Planes. Plays for one mana, two mana. 
Dawn Ringer Cleric. That's annoying. I guess they're going to blow up my makeshift munitions. Okay, that's gone. We can get that back with the Conjurer's Bobble, remember, but it's going to be a huge pain. So a lot of the options that we have are now gone. Will you swing out? They are going to swing out. So make a creature. Block and block. Let's get rid of the cat, actually. Okay, we go to 23. There are 27. Now we can afford to attack. Plays a smash to dust on the altar. Uh, that doesn't matter that much. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to crack this for black. I can Reckoner's Bargain the altar now. Black. We have the second altar in hand. Reckoner's Bargain the altar. Trying to go quickly. Draw some cards. Gain some life. Looking for Mirror Retriever. We found it. So that's GG now. We can get back the bauble to get back the munitions and eventually just win the game. Okay. We have overkill now. By this, by this, by this. Altar comes in. Always yes. Let's see if he will allow me to shortcut everything and just go for it. All right. Sacrifice the retriever. Get back the retriever and they scoop it up. Wow. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Let's see in round three. We're here in round three versus QB Turtle 15. Their last posting was on Blue Black Terror. Regardless of what they're on, this is a pretty decent hand, but if they're on Terror, this is a really good hand, so we're going to keep. We have turn two, Deadly Dispute, the Chromatic Star. We're on the play. Let's go. Power Plant, play the star. Your turn. Let's see what they're up to. They play an island. We find a polluted mire. Play this. So if we deadly dispute now, this replaces three cards in hand, puts us up to seven. So if they do something on our end step, we will deadly dispute. All right, they're on blue black terror, most likely. We go up to seven cards in hand. We find a mine. We can play golem foundry if they tap out. If they don't, we could maybe play... Okay, so they're going to Thought Scour to clear the Brainstorm. They mill Fangs, Agony Warp, represent a potential Spell Pierce. We draw a second Foundry. I really don't want to play into a Spell Pierce. So let's just go ahead and play this Energy Refractor and draw a card. They were f 6 so we were in the clear there. Let's get this Brainstorm on the table, and we can always uh, deadly dispute the Blood Token. So it looks like we know they're F6 right now. They Mental Note, two Falages, pass the turn, plays a Brainstorm. So maybe we're looking at a Terror here. We want to play the Golem Founders out. A Thought Scour, OK. Mill two non-lands and play a land. So we are free and clear. Best draw is a tower. We end up drawing a mine. So we can play out the golem foundry. Next turn we can play out the golem foundry again, or we can play a mirror retriever right now. I think I want to play the retriever. We can play the, the Golem Foundry next turn if we want to, to get back the Chromatic Star. We can also bargain the Retriever to get back the Chromatic Star, draw some cards. They are going to Mental Note, just milling two lands. Terror number one. So we find Altar. I'm going to play Mirror Retriever. See what they do. I wonder if they Counterspell this. If they cast Counterspell, we could Reckoner's Bargain the Retriever if we find the tower that's the game. We cast the Counterspell. We are going to Reckoner's Bargain the Mirror Retriever, return the Mirror Retriever. We already have the Blood Fountain. We didn't find our loop though, so we pass. 
Okay, the mental note on cells, mental note ice tunnel, plays deep analysis, two cards in hand, or two mana available, they're gonna play a terror. So now, it's game over. No matter what here, just sick. They meant to note themselves. Sure. Play altar. Yep. Play retriever. Yep. Go ahead and start the lupin. They have nothing. You gotta auto yield and start spamming. That. We're gonna go here. Crack this one. Play another foundry. The reasoning here is that I like them to be the same uh, amount of counters on them. It makes it easier to manage. I'm going to crack this, alter, retriever. That's the loop. Loop a dupe. Get back retriever. Play retriever. And we win. Easy. Let's see if we can do it again. So I like to bring in the Nile spell bombs and simply cut the cremat the crop rotations. I think the makeshift munitions is also not required here. So we have a bunch of stall with our life gain, and we're going to put them off with our Nile spell bombs. I think that's probably fine. Let's go. I consider this a pretty good matchup, so I'm pretty hopeful. All right, we have Natural Tron plus Turn 1 Spell Bomb. No colored sources. If they have mana open, we can wait a little bit to play the Spell Bomb out. <clears throat> Mine go. They Mental Note. Milling Gurmag Thought Scour. Plays a land. So we can maybe get them. Play Expedition Map. See if they counter it. They Spell Pierce. We're going to go ahead and play a Spell Bomb. So right now this is four, only goes to a Gurmag, three towards a Terror, four, five. We're looking for a colored source though. We find a Sphere, so we can play the Sphere and pass the turn. First thing we're going to want to do is make sure they can't cast a Terror. So if they go for anything that makes them cast it, I guess if they play an untapped land here, they could play a Terror. Three mana. They played an Angler, okay. So what do we want to do? Draw a card. It's a pretty good play, I think, for the opponent. Our best draw, once again, is Mirror Retriever or Ick or Wellspring. Yeah, we got that Wellspring. Draw it. We're going to crack for black. Now we, need, we are still banking on trying to find colored sources. We find a Grotto. So we'll put that into play, see what's on top. Deadly Dispute. Okay, so we can, I think I'm just going to Reckoner's Bargain the Wellspring first, <clears throat> keep the Deadly Dispute in hand. We can play a Nile Spell Bomb, and then Weather the Storm. Last the turn. So this buys us two attacks from the Angler. They Brainstorm. You do get a lot of value from people not knowing what they're doing playing against me. One, two, three, four. So we are going to want to spell bomb away all this stuff, especially with their deep analysis there. And given that they brainstormed, we might want to do it on their upkeep or their draw step. All right, pass the turn. Another grotto. Okay, another colored source. Do I want another deadly dispute? I think I'm going to keep that one. So what I can do is... Go ahead and deadly dispute this spell bomb. Pay the black. Draw two. And then pay the black. No, I want to do it on their turn, right? Just in case they thought scour on upkeep. Because they did cast a brainstorm. All right. So now no terrors for them. We're still far from casting anything, though. We're going to have to start discarding mines. We're getting bonked by 5-5. Five, five. Play a Chromatic Star. It would be a bummer if they countered this, actually. Like, we don't, we're not really doing anything. But it's not doing that much to leave it. Like if they waste the Counterspell here, then they can't use a Counterspell on a, on a Golem Foundry eventually. 
This game is not going quite as well as the previous one. With them with six cards in hand. We're not going to deadly dispute the star until we have the opportunity to actually land it. All right. They brainstorm. How many brainstorms have they cast? They thought scour themselves. Mill deep analysis spell pierce. That's one, two, three brainstorms. And they're going to get in for five here. We take five, but a 19. We play Falaji. Okay. They're going to mill a ton. Three cards. They are going to pick up the fourth brainstorm. Nice. Plays a land. We're going to draw a card. Find an altar. I'm just going to play that out. That's something that we can deadly dispute. You're gonna cast in a null. Okay. They brainstorm, so we're gonna deadly dispute, I think. And then we can weather the storm. Black. Deadly dispute this. They'd have to have dispel. Spell Pierce doesn't do it. Draw three cards. Another mire. Let's cycle. A map. Green. Cast a weather and pass the turn. We're halfway through our deck almost, seen no, uh, we've seen zero of any uh, golem foundries, huh? Terror, Spellbomb, yep, things are getting dicey now. They have three cards in hand, but they have deep analysis to draw a bunch of cards. Go map. They're considering annulling the map, it looks like. I think I want to just get cards out of my library, so I'm going to crack for a grotto and then play it after cracking the next map. Play map. Crack the map. Grab a tower. Play the grotto now. So we're getting a lot of lands out of our deck. Mine on the bottom, please. And uh, I'm going to pass again. Let's see if they tap off with Counterspell. They're going to crack their Nile Spell Bomb. To get rid of one of my altars. Okay. So I think I'm gonna try a deadly dispute. Deadly dispute the treasure. Counter spell. Alright, let's go ahead and gain 15. Pass the turn. They deep analysis themselves, five cards in hand. This does not look very good. Bobble. We can play that. Attempt to bobble the deadly dispute. Nothing. Okay, star. Let's bargain the star and try to gain draw three. We have a counter spell. Yikes, I think we lost this one. Uh we could we could pull it back, right? I don't know, somehow. Maybe it's worth putting the altar into the table. Double counter spell. Falaji, they mill Terror and an Island and a Falaji, so they don't get anything back. They get in for 10. Okay, Wellspring, draw a card. They're gonna counter. Let's play the Altar, Tower, pass. We have three turns. Right now they have no more card draw in their graveyard. Let's turn off this draw stop. They get in for 11, put us to 13. Mirror Retriever would be fine. A Nile Spellbomb is okay. Spellbomb, black, crack it on you, draw a card. Find a Refractor that we can draw. Um, play a Mine, pass the turn. We are going to go to two now. So the only way we can win is Retriever for Wellspring, play the Wellspring, I don't know. Play the Wellspring, get a Deadly Dispute somehow. Plays a Terror, one card in hand. We could chain, Wellspring, no Sabotage, find the Bargain. Reckoner's Bargain, the Wellspring, draw three. Star, Golem Foundry, that's a start. Play the Golem Foundry, play the Star. 
Can we come back from this? Black. We're going to deadly dispute the star now. Draw another three. The star. Okay. Wellspring. We're making some golems maybe. We have to make three golems to get around one counter, one uh, removal spell. Lay refractor. Draw a card. Lay chromatic sphere. Crack it for black. That's one golem made. Black. We're going to play the blood fountain. Yep. We still have one weather in the deck as well. Play this star. Crack this for black. Another golem foundry. I think the best play is to blood token away this. Play this golem foundry. Okay. Pass the turn. Hope they have no removal spells. <laughs> oh no, we're just dead, right? Yeah, because they have three giant attackers. Okay, my bad. We did quite a chain there. Deep analysis themselves. Right. We're at 10 cards in library. 11 cards. It's kind of a weird game. All right, they did not misclick. Okay, pass the turn. We die. They're pausing on the blocks for some reason. So it didn't look like they were playing the zombie. We were so close. So close. Oh, man. I wonder if munitions is good to have in the main over the weather of the storm or over an altar. Maybe munitions over an altar if they're going to be playing spell bombs and stuff. I'm going to bring in munitions over an altar because it can sacrifice me retrievers for looping. That wasn't really our problem last turn, last time. If we'd had it in play, we could have drawn into maybe something. All right, we have Tron. No, we don't have Tron. Keep, anyway. We can mine map. If they don't have a spell pierce, we can play the refractor. If they do a spell pierce up, we probably play the chromatic star. Or nothing. Star. Spell pierce. Play mine. That's the turn. That's the problem. Okay. Mirror retriever can't get spell pierced. Play mirror retriever. They counterspell it. Okay. A mental note. And they could play a terror right now. Five, six, no, they can't. We could play a star again. Bring in a spell pierce. I think I'm going to pass, even though I'm going to make a land drop and see if they do something on end step so I can deadly dispute the star and claw back into the game. I feel very sketched by our position at the moment. Yeah, deadly dispute the star. Draw three. Find a, another map or mine. Okay. That's not great. They're going to go terror, 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 and I'm going to be really sad. Terror, terror. Oh, God. We shouldn't have this much problem with this deck, but we just got wrecked. Okay, tower and grab our power plant. Play out a refractor. Draw a card. The golem foundry. That's the turn. Take 15. They have two cards in hand. What we really need to do is chain into a weather the storm, and I took one out of the deck. Unfortunate. Mental note. They mental note of rotten reunion. So they are playing those. Gets in for 15. <sighs> okay. I don't know that golem foundry is going to help us in this position. Let's we'll start with wellspring. Okay. Dispute. Draw some more wellsprings. The golem foundry. Okay. They steal sabotage. So the only thing that can save me now is to bargain into a weather the storm. So I'm going to bargain the refractor. Go to seven. We got wrecked. Completely wrecked. Deadly dispute the map. 
Man, we were really close, but we didn't have it. GG. On to the next one. Round four, our opponents showed up with 17 minutes left. We're going to keep this. Don't know what they're on, but we have turn two, Wellspring into Deadly Dispute. If we draw on land, we can play the Wellspring and then maybe Dispute later. Maybe they're just double queuing so much that they don't worry about the clock and uh, they'll just give it to us. But we are two and one, and so are they. Oh god, so they're on Bogles. Land past the turn. They don't need any time, they just slam stuff. They mulligan to six. So, not sure how fast they're going to be. We have three weathers, and then we're going to try to go off at some point. Three cards left in their hand. They chose green. So, maybe they're going to go Rancor, Rancor. Hit me for five. Rancor into a commune. Reveals a plains. Okay. Three damage. Find a map. So I guess we play the map, pass the turn. So then the next turn we're going to grab a land and play Wellspring, and then we're going to Deadly Dispute on the next turn. Let's see if we live long enough to be able to do anything. Map. Mine. Play Mine. Play Wellspring. There's a Weather of the Storm, so that is some life gain. We need the Fade 1 inch a payoff spell, I guess. That's exactly 10. Easy peasy beyond the play. Darn. Okay. So I'm cutting all of my combo pieces for a lot of life gain, a Serene Heart. We can loop the Serene Heart with the Bogle, or the Bobble, and try to wipe them with the Card Clan Shaman. We're looking for a fast, fast hand. Turn 3 Tron, not good enough. It's always nice when your opponent just uh, doesn't show up and then walks in and t kills you in a couple turns. Well done. <laughs> All right. I wonder what other event they're on. Let's see if we can open well. Uh, it's pretty close. We have to mulligan, though. We have Crop Rotation, Tron, Mirror Retriever. I think this is a keep. I'm trying to figure out what to put back. Obviously, we want the lands and the map. Crop rotation I think we need, the energy refractor I think we need. So by putting back the mirror retriever, we can get Tron on turn three. So I guess that's the play. Mirror retriever doesn't do too much at the moment. All right, keeping. Put back the retriever. Let's see if they will join the game. They mulligan to five, that's pretty good for me. Of course, we don't have any life gain right now. We're just, we just have a bunch of setup cards. We will be drawing two more cards. Mapping. Go land into map. Your turn. Okay, opponent leaves on Utopia Sprawl for white. So that means they have Vogel Ethereal Armor. We find another sphere. We have to map for mine. Play the mine, and then we go sphere, green, crop, tower, refractor. Sphere. Bogle. Armor. Highly expected. So, do do Play the sphere. Crack for green. And then crop this. Grab tower. We'll play the refractor. Draw a card. We play a chromatic sphere. Now we can blow them out, so that's cool. I think we probably wait for one more payoff spell. Commune with spirits. They are stuck on mana too, so if they find. No, they're not stuck on mana. Land. Play another commune. If they ethereal armor here, I'm gonna play Serene Heart. Find Sentinel's Eyes. Cartouche. That puts. It's going to wipe Serene Heart. Now they don't have white mana. They can swing for one if they want. We can't cast the Sentinel's Eyes. Doot doot. Green. Play a Fanger Marauder. Pass the turn. Now we're going to start swinging at them. They scoop it up. Easy peasy. So we need to be able to do the same thing again. 
Well, it might not be as easy. That turn three Tron was very important, and then ripping the Serene Heart, taking them off of white mana. Let's see if we can do it again. We have turn three Tron again. I'm going to keep it. And go probably just lead on Grotto. They keep six. They go Forest, Scout Pass. Okay, so the question is, do I Tower into Grotto? I think I Grotto first. Looking for something to interact. Yeah, we'll take that one. Map, pass. Once again, we get the fast Serene Heart. It's a really good scry for me, for sure. But, you know, they could have a flyer. They could have more enchantments. Stuff like uh, maybe even turn three won't be good enough. We'll see. We play another scout. Plays a spirit link, which doesn't matter. Gets in for one. Surprised they kept that in, to be honest. We map for a mine, doesn't matter. Then we go mine, crop, power plant, refractor, hold serene heart. They don't have any blue mana. We're just gonna get in for two. Okay, mine, green. This is why I play crop, guys. You gotta get that Tron ASAP. They don't have any mana to cast a dispel. Play the power plant, play energy refractor. We can go ahead and pass, I think. We're going to Serene Heart at the very first uh, payoff spell. Abundant Growth. And draw a card. All right. So what we're looking for is a Car Clan Shaman, just straight up. Car Clan Shaman would close the door here, for sure. Pretty good plan overall. Abundant Growth again. They draw a card. We're still going to be able to use our mana with the Polluted Mire. We're playing Ethereal Armor, now they're down to zero. That's six damage. So they're going to swing, but we are just going to... Never didn't have it them. Serene Heart. Take two damage. Play Mirror Retriever. Play a Conjurer's Bobble. We're going to bobble back the Serene Heart. Then we're going to Expedition Map. Crack it. Grab a tower, play the tower. We could have gotten a cycle or a scry land, I guess. We'll cycle this. Okay, so now the option is to play the star or hold it for weather the storm, and I'm gonna hold it. Pass the turn. They can, if they get another mana, make this a 3-3 with the cave. That's what they go for. We'll just take the three, I think, at the moment. Play mine, pass the turn. Okay, they get in for another three. I'll take it again. Looking for a, a Deadly Dispute or a Fanger Marauder. Parkland Shaman is good. Reckoner's Bargain is pretty good as well. Um, play a land, pass the turn. I can Reckoner's Bargain the Mirror Retriever, which actually gives me plus two life, so it's as if it were stalling the Glade Cover Scout twice, as well as blocking this here. So I think that's fine. Block, get back the bottle. We're gonna uh, Reckoner's Bargain, getting back the bottle, and drawing two cards, gaining two life. Crop rotation. So I guess we save the crop for our upkeep. Or we do it now. Let's crop for the scry equity. Grotto. Um, I'll keep that on top, I guess. Pass the turn. That's just for storm count. Now here, I think I'm going to bobble getting back the polluted mire, just in case I draw into another map. Turn it into a five mana draw one. Play Icar Wellspring. Draw a card. Mirror Retriever, so we can play Sphere, play Mirror Retriever. So now we have blocks set up, assuming they don't draw into uh, a Rancor. We crack for green, play the star, crack it for green. Trying to draw into a Deadly Dispute, actually. Just draw more Weather the Storms, so. 
I guess we just weather the storm a ton of times. Bam. 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 So we have a lot of life now. 74. 74 is a lot. Pass the turn. They armor up their scout, which means they can get in. All right, we're taking three no matter what. We can simply block and take three and get back a mirror retriever. Find a blood fountain. Land, play the blood fountain. Now we have double two blocks with the retrievers. So that's really good. Play retriever. Pass the turn, which means that we can return uh, the bottle this turn. We play a ledge walker. That thing doesn't have flying of note. They're not going to attack. Okay. Play sphere. Crack it for black. Looking for deadly disputes. Find another retriever. We're going to attack you. Now a Quark Clan Shaman is sick. We still have to draw into it. They play a Utopia Sprawl making their Glade cover a 4-4. I'm going to yield until the next end step and take one damage. Okay, draw. Refractor, that's a redraw. Any uh, land we can pitch to the blood token, but we end up drawing the Deadly Dispute. Bam. Better just to draw cards here. Mortuary Mire. Let's blood token away the mine. Play the Wellspring. We can map again. Remember I said we could map for the Polluted Mire. Grab that. Cycle the two. Cycle. Find Star. Play Land. We're going to attack. Now we're holding up the Serene Heart. One mirror retriever in the graveyard. So when you see, once you get the uh, Krarks, then you can actually make a lot of advantage this way. 23. Okay, they Rancor. That's pretty good. Gives them some attacks, and they can bring back stuff with the Rancor. All right, they're attacking. I'll take the three. Let's crack this for black, just in case we draw into a dispute. Nothing. All right. Reckoner's Bargain. So we can Reckoner's Bargain. I think we just have to keep digging for a Karkland Shaman. Bargain the Wellspring. Drawing into another Wellspring. Let's draw. We'll draw again. We have to actually get them dead at some point. Play Mirror Retriever. Attack. OK. Now we just go red. This is a 5-5 five, five right now. Play Kar Clan Shaman. We'll go sacrifice this. Sacrifice this. Sacrifice this. Get back the bottle. Sacrifice this one. And we win the match. Couldn't hang. So the plan worked. Uh, we have 14 turns to deal them 18 damage. We would have gotten a bunch of creatures in play and eventually drawn into our um, Fangren Marauder. What we would want to do is keep bobbling back stuff to keep the, the um, deck as big as possible while trying to dig towards the Marauder. And then we win. Wipe them out and go to the next round. We're three and one, so three rounds left to go. We're up versus Mai in round five of eight, not seven. So we're going to keep, no, we're just going to, uh, we're not going to just straight up keep. Let me, I don't, okay, I got to get my head in the game. Let's go. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to keep. I have turned three Tron off the crop. What I meant to say was I think they're probably on burn. Grotto. Find a map anyway. I guess I can put that on the top. Play a sphere. Star, pass the turn. So if they're on burn, maybe I don't want the map. Looks like mono blue. Preordain. Interesting. 
Who plays Preordain? Snow Covered Island Preordain could be familiars. I'm going to map, then I'm going to crop for tower, uh, not taking the draw. Let's draw a card now, play out the sphere, pass the turn. <sighs> blue Preordain could be mono blue, could be, yeah, it looks like it's fairies. So it's good to have gotten Tron ASAP. We're going to need to get... Um, we're going to need to get our colored source with the map. We're looking for some golden foundries. Okay, it's is it fairies? Land, crack this for the grotto. Go map, crack this one for polluted mire. Try to draw some cards. Play this Icar Wellspring. We find a retriever. So we can stick the Retriever onto the table to block a ninja after they play a ninja in this turn. They'll have to kill it with a Scred or something. They decline to play a ninja. Okay. Grotto. We're gonna scry. Map I don't want. Let's draw a card. Find a Deadly Dispute. We have a Deadly Dispute and a Bargain. Alright, I think I have to pass. They're going to cycle and Ash Barons. Okay. I feel like I have to really dig deep and focus right now. Don't feel super focused. We need some coffee. We need some water. Right. Gets in for one. Not that big of a deal. They're representing double counter spell. So if I bargain this right now, they counter it. They have a spell pierce and a counter spell. Uh, I think bargain is the better thing to do right now. Spells that are sprite. Highly expected. Find a munitions. That's actually pretty good. So I can play this retriever, see if it gets countered. It's certainly likely that they counter this. They're not going to counter it. Okay, so I will play a blood fountain. See if they counter that. I just, right now I'm like really hoping to land this makeshift munitions. They're going to sprite it. Okay. So now we go red. Play munitions. Kill a sprite with the Maria Retriever. Get back the Blood Fountain. Play the Blood Fountain. And then shoot the other spell center sprite. Bam! Pass the turn. Now makeshift munitions here was coming in super handy for sure. <sighs> Gets in for one. They've got the ninja. Okay. Let's see if they play the fairy seer. Plays the fairy seer. So I think I can kill their ninja. Let's see if they have a land. They went bottom bottom. They play a land. Well, them playing a land is not great for me at all. We need another artifact. They're going to play an Augur Bolas, so they're giving me an opportunity here. So my plan is to Blood Fountain back the Retriever. Play the Retriever. Shoot the Ninja with the Near Retriever. Get back the Wellspring. Play the Wellspring. Shoot the Ninja with the Wellspring. Okay, your turn. They're off of some Ninjas. Did they rest? Nope. They hit nothing off of the Augur. Okay. They're gonna get in. They have a Ninja. No Ninja. Four cards in hand for the opponent. They cycle an Ash Barons. Okay. Reveals Island. Assume they play it. They snap their Augur. They did not play the Island yet. So they still have Island in hand. They play the Augur. What do you find? 
reveals a counterspell. Okay. So we're going to play out some Wellsprings. We counterspell the Wellspring. Okay. We have a second Wellspring. Let's deadly dispute the Wellspring. Bam. Draw some cards. Find Retriever and Refractor. So I want to get this Refractor into play. And then I want to play this Retriever. Blast this Fairy Seer. Get back a uh, Mirror Retriever. Or Blood Fountain. Get back the Blood Fountain. Play the Blood Play Sphere. Play the Blood Fountain. Okay, pass. Make shift munitions. They preordain. All right, me. We're a little bit behind on clock right now. Thinking too hard. We get in for one. They went top bottom, so they might have a ninja, but they don't this time. They're gonna monarch me. Okay. Blood fountain. Get back two retrievers. Play retriever. Play retriever. Tower. Shoot this. Getting back the Blood Fountain. Shoot this again. Uh, sacking the Retriever. Getting back the Retriever. Could also get back the Wellspring. Let's play the Retriever. Um, play a Blood Fountain. Could try Reckoner's Bargaining the Blood Token. Draw some cards. There's a Golem Foundry. So that's the combo now. All right, we're going to go black, blood fountain, and uh, next turn we are going to win. Get rid of that darn monarch. Get out of here. One of plays a fairy seer. I'm no longer afraid. They went top, bottom, and play a land. All right, they're drawing for monarch. Three cards in hand. They wanted one of those. Land, Foundry, do you have a response? Ashton's Altar, okay, do you have a response? If you don't, I think that's it. Looks like no, so we're gonna sacrifice the Mirror Retriever. Put all of our triggers in the right spots over now. This right here, grab a Retriever, start casting. Okay, click, click. Get back the Retriever. Definitely feeling pretty tired right now. It's been a long day. They're at 20. We don't necessarily need to kill them this turn, but I would like to take out most of their stuff. Getting rid of the Fairy Seer and the thing on the table. They could have Smash the Dust as well. So we probably have to go hard on making creatures. They're going to have us play it out. Smart play, eight. So I'm gonna loop for a bit, focus. Of note, if this were paper, you just straight up win because you go infinite, you already have the makeshift munitions. You don't need to draw anything with the Blood Fountain, but you also with infinite mana can draw your deck with Blood Fountain. We can also start throwing um, artifacts at their creatures to wipe the table. And next turn, we can throw all of our golems at the opponent. So we don't need to go to the full 30 here. I'm going to start throwing stuff at their creatures. Shoot you with Mirror Retriever. Get back Mirror Retriever. Play another Mirror Retriever. Let's crop rotation. Grab a tower. Shoot this. Get back my Mirror Retriever. All right. 24. Nice even number. That's the turn. So that's 24 damage to our opponent. They have four cards in hand, no creatures. We've got the makeshift munitions as well. They're going to scred. That's fine. I'm not going to respond. Get back Mirror Retriever. I could have shot them, I guess. I don't think it matters. We can't F6 because they could have an Echoing Truth. And that would blow me out. And we want to respond to a Snap or an Echoing Truth by sacrificing our creature. Then we can yield to the golem until end of turn. They draw a card. 
All right, take 24. Coming in hot. Brainstorm. They just brainstorm. It's all good. They spell their sprite. Well, let's blast the sprite. The blood token. And get in. Good use of time. Yeah, they uh, they cause us like a 30 second uh, usage there. So we want all of our scatters. Don't necessarily need one of the weathers. I like trimming a crop. So then the question is, do I think that I want to combo them? And I think I do. So how am I going to make that happen? I think we're going to cut both the crops. It's just too sketchy. And uh, we're going to rely on our removal spells here to try to win the game. Uh, pressuring with the golem foundries. Opening up Tron again would really help a lot. We have mine, power plant, a black source. I'm going to keep this. Lean on the polluted mire most likely. They have a fairy seer. It seems it's a sort of a sketchy hand, but the golem founder is really good, so we're going to go for it. I hope they don't have a turn three. Okay, we have. Let's just play my black source and pass. If they have a turn two ninja, it's going to be extremely difficult for us. So maybe the option to mulligan would have been better. They have the ninja. I think we're F. I think we're not in a good spot. Oh boy. Pass the turn. You know that you're in trouble when turn turn two ninjas arrive. Oh gosh. They're gonna leave up counterspell? No. They play Fairy Seer. So let's see if they have an annul for the Golem Foundry. It's not gonna matter that much though. Looks like being on the draw. We should have definitely mulliganed that hand. Get that Golem Foundry and they have the Annul, Spell Pierce. Yeah, I feel like I'm not going to win. Power into Scatter Shot. Okay, obviously I scooped early. Crud. Okay, I'm back. Let's do it. Okay, note to self, only scoop when the game is over. Never ever scoop. <laughs> on the play. Let's see if we get a good hand. We have the scatter shot. Bargain. It seems fine, but not great. Grotto. See what's on top. Okay, top that. So we can bargain the star to draw some cards. We'll go up to six, five. Bargain. They've cast a preordain. Okay. Um, these UX phase are a lot weaker to um, Scattershot than Mono Blue Fairies is, so hopefully we can make this happen after kind of wrecking myself the last game. Jeez. Looks like they're cycling, getting a mountain. They play the mountain. That's not a fairy, but it is a relic. All right, we have Tron on uh, coming up. Play the map. And then I'm going to crack for Power Plant now because that gives me something for the Relic to eat. Okay, they Relic me and I get rid of the map. They don't make a land drop. Power Plant. Let's cycle the Polluted Mire. Pass the turn. Expecting an end step fairy here. There's the spell stutter sprite. Hmm. <clears throat> I think I want to value keeping my Ludenmire in the deck for coming maps that could occur. They blast in. Do you have the ninja? They do have the ninja. So we have to kill this ninja no matter what. Play the land. Power. I can play this bauble. Put back the mire. Or I can deadly dispute it. I think I'm just going to put back the mire. I find a star, which is awesome. Okay, deadly dispute the star. Draw three. Drawing blanks. Red. Kill the heck out of your ninja. Pass the turn. And then we'll just discard a random land. Uh, we didn't have we didn't have eight. I thought we had eight in hand, but we didn't. 
We've drawn a lot of cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They're going to Mox Monkey my treasure token. Sure. Okay, I'll play Crystal Grotto first, I guess. Chromatic Sphere on the bottom. We don't want to play directly into a Spell Setter Sprite. They don't counter that Acre Wellspring. We find a Golem Foundry, so I'm going to jam that and hope that it survives. They may have a counterspell, they don't have a counterspell. This is where we're going to try to rely on the Golem Foundry for the win. Um, ninjas and counterspells are scary. They're going to get in for one. No ninja. They play an auger of bowls here. Yeah, maybe reveal a brainstorm so they can get rid of, kind of fix up their hand. Let's get some scry equity again, put the land on the bottom, and then wellspring. So we get one counter. We need the chain. Looking for disputes, find another golden foundry. Okay. That is pretty good. So do they have a counter spell? They might. They're brainstorming for a counter spell. You have it. Okay. Soon they will be able to blow up the Golem Foundry with my, with their uh, creature, the Gorilla Shaman. Really need to find some deadly disputes. Get in. No ninja still. They brainstorm. They need seven mana to blow up the Golem Foundry. So if they make a land drop this turn, they could kill the Golem Foundry next turn. Play the land. Golem Foundry is not long for this world. Plays an Augur of Bullis. That was a nice brainstorm for them. They reveal a Lightning Bolt, which can take out one of the Golems. I have an Expedition map. I play the tower. Uh, the map is kind of useful. I'm going to pass the turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. If they use all their mana, you get, get rid of the Deli Dispute. If they, re, if they use all their mana to blow up the Golem Foundry, then at least we can map for the Power Plant. They attack for three. We have to play around Triple Bolt. Fairy Seer. I'm watching my dreams get shattered here. I really shouldn't have scooped that last game. I feel pretty dumb. Draw. Find a scatter shot. So I can go tower. Play map. We're kind of free to do this now. Crack the map. Okay. Scatter. This one and this one. A second spell setter sprite in hand hoses me. A counter spell hoses me. I would like to be able to crack the map for the polluted mire. They have four cards in hand. One of them is a bolt, so they have three unknowns. Oh, long day. Spell setter sprite again. So what creature are you going to save? They countered this one. Okay. So I'm going to just go green. Play my weather. Pass the turn. So we're still alive, but not that heavy. We've used one, two. We have five deadly disputes left in the deck. So they make a land drop so they can kill the golem foundry now. Swings with the fairy. All right. Power plant. This is super frustrating times for me, for sure, but it's not over. They get to blow up my Golem Foundry. That's the turn. We've got Relics to contend with. We've got freaking... So we've lost two Golem Foundries and the Bobble. What a day. One down. Swings for four. We've killed... Only one spell setter sprite. Play land, pass the turn. 
It's a classic fairy's maneuver to always have all the spell source sprites, but uh, we messed up. Definitely messed up. They've drawn almost as many cards as us now. 19 life for us. Another land. That's the turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Get rid of the foundry. We have five lands left in the deck. They have five cards in hand. Bash is in. Go to 15. Find a chromatic star. I'm gonna pass the turn. I need a big turn or they tap out to do something. They attack for four, put me to 11. They have the ninja. They ninja to auger, which means they must have a sprite in hand. Gosh. Pass. Can't pass. Damn. Four, five, six, seven. All right, this is five. Two bolts and we're dead. They draw a card. They discard a Fathom Seer and an Arter Bolus. Try for the Golem Foundry. Probably gets countered. Uh, play Altar. Fractor. What's up, Spell Stutter Sprite? How you doing? Uh oh. Didn't see you coming. Came out of nowhere. What? Counterspell? So weird. Boo. They have four damage. Boo. Boo fairies. Oh, man. All right, here's my golem. What a guy. Concede. Tilt. All right, on to round six. All right, we're three and two. Gonna bounce back. I have turn three Tron. I got a Golem Foundry. I'm playing against Ponza. Dang. Um, we'll go land into map. This is the worst case scenario for me, really. I'm gonna play Lanoir. Okay. Play a mine. Pass the turn. They're gonna go for fast initiative. Um, so I could expedition map. I'm gonna double dispute this expedition map. Okay. We confer an altar. We play a power plant. Play a golem boundary and pass the turn. Likely just straight up die to this uh, turn three initiative. Not gonna do anything. Just pass the turn. Watch our opponent kill us. Easy peasy. They're gonna make their land or visionary bigger. And blow up a land. Solid, solid choice of blowing up a land. Really fun experience. Cool. They get in for a lot. We find a map. Land. Map. Play out a mirror retriever. Pass the turn. So, alter off the top could still win the game for us. We're going to block the Lanoir Visionary and go to one life. Assuming they don't have a boarding party. Hmm. You can tell that my psyche was all screwed up from this, uh, this experience. <laughs> and it's an Avenging Hunter. Bam! Only good cards. Do you have a spread? Play the land. Is a land. Okay. <clears throat> All I need is a miracle. Okay. We're going to be taking a million. So we go crack the map. Tower. Play tower. <clears throat> Play mirror retriever. I guess we just go map for green first, or my star. Crack it for green. One life. 
Okay, we're still live if we draw alter. We've got five men exactly. Crack for black. Draw a map. So we can map into retriever, into cast weather the storm, pass the turn. Okay, they get the initiative. They're going to reveal a card. Probably the boarding party. Yep. That's a 9-6. So right now we have take 10 minimum. We can block the boarding party with the mirror retriever and then kill the Atlantawar with our gold foundry. But that doesn't give us any good attacks. There's, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Just these ones, huh? If it's just those two, I'm going to double block the Avenging Hunter. All right, so they're saying you can't get in no matter what. So we make a golem. And we make another golem. And we're going to block and block and block. Leave one golem alive. Grabbing our mirror retriever. Going like this, crossing my fingers for the altar. We're at 11. Next turn, in two turns, they're going to trap us. We're going to blow up our land. They blow up the power plant. <laughs> Dude, come on. I hate, I hate this land destruction nonsense. But, complain and you shall be rewarded, bro. Okay, that's how you do it. Um, land, tax step, never didn't have it, lucky ducky. Okay, play the altar, sacrifice this, play the mirror retriever, sacrifice the mirror retriever, get back the mirror retriever. All right, position our windows. So now we need to go two more. Retriever, sacrifice retriever for retriever, and they scooped it up. Yay! <laughs> uh, that was about as good as could happen, right? So, pulse of Marasa over munitions, I guess. Pray. <sighs> what a lucky duck! Can't believe it. <laughs> the emotional roller coaster that we're on, we're like, no, yay! No, maybe? No, yay? Let's see what happens. Okay, so here we have crop rotation. We got altar retriever. We got chromatic sphere. We're going to keep it. It's about as good as we can do. Land elf. Lay a sphere. Do you have it? That's a surprise. Play me retriever. My land gets blown up. Okay. They had glamoured my sphere, which is like kinda of whatever. Sure, I'll attack you for one. Yield. They're gonna blow up my other land. No, nope, they're gonna play the Avenging Hunter. Okie dokie. So the best draw would be a black land to deadly dispute this to get back nothing but to uh, be able to crop into Tau into Tron to start doing stuff. Here comes the concession. Bummer. On the play, we have land and map. Second look at a land. This is such a risky, risky, risky hand. But if we find a, a map in the top, so we look at one and then draw, and then draw three. What am I doing with this land? Playing out the Golden Foundry? This is such a hard decision here. High risk, high reward, I'm keeping. One of Mulligan's is six. If we see a land at the top, the Grotto is live to play the Expedition map to get the third land. And we're super good. If we don't see a land, we have to play the sphere and crack it, looking for a land. We keep a six. 
We don't see a land, so we bottom and play out the sphere. That is a forest and an elf. Green. Map. Okay, we die. Oh god. <clears throat> okay, so we'll just comment them playing their stuff. They play a wild growth, they untap it, they're gonna blow up my land. Very exciting game. They get their other land, so then they can play the initiative and win the game. We find a land, so we get to play an expedition map and pass. If we find another land, we could potentially deadly dispute the expedition map or play the wellspring. We'd probably want to just grab a second land. Grab another land, just keep grabbing lands. But not being able to make our second land drop there really ruined us because if their plan is to chain land destruction, then we can't get there. And if their plan is to is to slam the initiative right now, we just die anyway. So we had a nice little little game one, and uh, we're probably gonna get boarding party here. I'm gonna play an annoyed Altasaur, which cannot attack this turn. Kind of nice for me. They have eight, nine power on the table, so we have a couple of turns. Play Chromatic Star and uh, Cry in Corner. I'm just going to scoop and uh, go evaluate my life choices. We'll see you in the next round. All right, we are here in match number seven versus uh, Pacto de Gildas. Member of team O2 drop. Did not O2 drop this time. Keep. So we have turn two refractor plus the turn one grotto to look for the mine. We could deadly dispute the refractor on turn three as well and cycle the polluted mire. Seems like a fine keep. I believe this person has been on the mono black splash green deck. I'm going to put a uh, tower on the bottom. Can we dig it? Man, I'm so tired. Looks like Gardens or Affinity. They don't have a turn one play, so I'm going to assume it's Gardens still. We have the Grotto. We have the Crop Rotation, I mean. So, what do we want to do? I'm going to Crop right now. I'm going to Refractor. It's possible that they will have um, a Duress. I don't know. Black White. Oh, yeah. This, they're showing me this. So, it's like a Black White Gardens list. Interesting. Let's do it. Can we get there? Um, we're going to go green, crop this, grabbing a mine, play map, crack for tower, and then pass the turn. I'm focusing on getting mana on the table right now. Let's see what you got. Probably all sorts of relics. Uh, let me check. So they considered playing something and did not. We're going to cycle. So this is a cycle. Um, well, we got to start doing stuff, right? We can deadly dispute the refractor, play the mirror tree, or deadly dispute the mirror tree before the refractor. Seems fine. Okay, let's go black. Black. Play the tower, deadly dispute the refractor, draw some cards, find a golem foundry. I want to play the mirror retriever. Hmm. Play the golem foundry out. Play the mirror retriever. We really need to get that uh, refractor out of the graveyard so it doesn't get uh, eaten. Deadly dispute the mirror retriever. I'd rather have the refractor in play than the mirror retriever not in play. Like, I don't know, I'm not not speaking very well, but basically what I'm trying to do is, if there's a bog, I want this refractor versus that first mirror trigger, I think. Interesting thing about the black-white gardens is that they don't have, um, like, tramp they don't have trample with their initiative creature, so maybe it'll be easier for us to get past it. What are they going to do? They reckon our bargain, their bargain, their land. Oh, man. We play a land. Plays a Dawnbringer Cleric to get rid of the Mirror Retriever. It was a risk we took. We got three Retrievers left, so we're going to have to draw most of our deck in order to combo, likely. But we're going to start pumping out Golems. 
So probably the first thing to do is to, well, we have makeshift munitions too. Okay. Play the map, thin the deck, grabbing a tower. Play the tower, get a bunch of mana and play. Play this wellspring, draw a card. Play a refractor, draw a card. Play an expedition map. Crack the map. Grabbing a tower. Pass the turn. You know they have ephemerates and stuff. I don't really want to walk into a Domera Cleric with the munitions either. They're going to attack. We will make a blocker. That's to reuse the removal spell. We'll block. They could have some way to get it back from the graveyard. They're going to kill my creature. Okay. So we can draw a bunch of cards by going Retriever. Hmm. Play this Bobble out. And then play the Mirror Retriever. Play out the Munitions. Start drawing some cards. So we'll shoot this with the Wellspring. And then shoot it with the Retriever. Get back the Wellspring. They don't have an Ephemerate, so we play the Wellspring. Get rid of their darn, their darn Bringer Cleric. Bat, bonk, that guy's dead. We have another Foundry. Play the Gold Foundry. And we'll pass. Feeling pretty comfortable here with two attackers. Sort of holding on to the bobble. Yikes. Okay, we're going to bobble back the mirror retriever. Zoink. And that is going to resolve. We still have three in the deck. They're going to pick up that bog, huh? Picking up the bog. All right. Build until next end step. We're going to make two golems and pass. Okay, Wellspring. Always yield to this. Now I'm just interested in making golems. Chromatic Star. We could go for the Deadly Dispute on the Golem Foundry. Trying to draw in two some more artifacts to play out. Another Wellspring. Boom. Now we've got. Uh, some more golems coming up. Another refractor. Just playing out some artifacts. Okay, we got a bargain. You know, things are looking up. Just doing stuff. Classic. Bam. Just doing stuff. And we find altar plus the wellspring. Lay out the wellspring. Yep. Bargain. Man. Just have all sorts of stuff going on. Let's play another. Play out the Blood Fountain. I'm not really concerned about like optimizing things at the moment. We're just going to discard a Swamp. Back to eight cards in hand, huh? Six. All right, I think we can just attack. No big deal. We probably want to map. We've got all four towers. So let's play our map. Because we did put the... Um, Mirror Retriever on the bottom. So we're going to shuffle on our upkeep by sacrificing it for a grotto. So we can get the shuffle plus a scry. They're going to get rid of our stuff. All those wellsprings. They didn't have any time to see the day. Okay, this is the kind of matchup that I was hoping to play against. Chainers edict me, sure. Let's see if they edict me or kill my creature, because I can just shoot them with my creature. They decline to attack. We're going to make some stuff. And then we get those yields on. Make. So this is 15 damage. Uh, I think no matter what we win here, huh? Oops, I was stopping on their upkeep. That was a mistake. Crack. Grab the grotto. Play the grotto. Do some scrying. Let's go ahead and bottom that. Play a refractor. I mean, nothing matters at this point. We've definitely won the game. We're going to swing out. Aya. I mean, how can they gain life at instant speed? I don't know. 
a creature dies. We go for the mirror retriever. Do 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 and save targets. And then we just win. Just win. So they're going to be bringing in dust dust against us. And maybe relic. Got to bring in that grudge. Potentially trimming. So we can trim a weather the storm or a crop, right? But weather the storm is useful if they start to get out ahead. Crop is useful for getting going. I think I'm going to value the crop more than the weather in this matchup. What do I think about that? Could also bring out a weather and a crop for a double finger marauder, but we know they have a bajillion removal spells. And they might be not playing their removal spells post board. They don't have any way of getting back their um, ephemerates. Uh, I think I'm just going to lean into the crop rotation still. They're pretty slow. But we do have to just go for like holding the combo in hand and then spamming it. We have triple power plant. Okay. Keep. Still keeping because we have um, Deadly Dispute into Crop if we want. At least we've got some lands. They mulligan to six. Plays a Swamp, maybe a Duress. Duress would be pretty bad. Find a map. So let's go for a map, I guess. Map. Can't dust to dust that. I'm just really trying to fade some Duresses, I guess, at the moment. They Basilica pick up their swamp. Everyone's starting fast. Boom. Grab a mine. Your turn. They play a swamp. They could play a three drop here, but they're not going to play anything, okay? We find the tower anyway. Interesting. I guess we go star. Pass the turn. We could also play out the second star. I guess that's fine. Pass. If they go for dust to dust, we could crop the power plant for a swamp and then deadly dispute the star, which could be sweet. They're doing nothing. Okay, so we are going to have Tron now. Tron engaged. So I guess we just cycle first, see what happens. Mirror Retriever. We can go Retriever, Dispute, get back our star. They probably have a bog though. We fought through one bog, it was no big deal earlier, so let's just do it again. Who cares? Playing Lucy Goosey, we're in the 3 3 bracket, guys. <laughs> let's just bam this. Draw some cards. Get back my star. Draw some more cards. I'm here to draw cards, guys and ladies. They are going to deadly dispute their land. That's not great for them. Once again, draw. We find another deadly dispute. So we can play star and then deadly dispute our other star, drawing a million, million, bajillion cards. We find a map. Let's deadly dispute the star. Drawing cards. Drawing more cards. Find a grudge and a weather the storm. We can crop this uh, green. Let's crop here. Grabbing the grotto. See what's on top. Energy refractor, which I do like. Uh, is now the time to weather? I mean, it'll gain us 21 life, so I guess it is. Boom. Weather that storm. So now we're at 3841. <laughs> I guess we should have blown up the treasure token, because they could just play the uh, initiative right now. So, yep, maybe that was a better play. All right, I'm thinking post. So yeah, let's uh, not get wrecked here, huh? Okay, they're gonna Dawnbringer Cleric the Mirror Retriever. Not unexpected. Plays a Basilica, picks up a land. 
we have a million lands in hand, so we gotta go ahead and play the map to get more lands in hand. More lands in hand. More lands in hand. We have a refractor. It means we can uh, have all our colors. Crack that land. Grabbing towers, playing refractors, drawing cards. Yup, that's not good. Lands in hand. <laughs> oh man. So here is a pretty classic situation with Alter where we have drawn a million cards and we have also drawn a million lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have seven lands left in the deck. Can we draw some stuff? Even if we draw a deadly dispute, there's nothing good to dispute. So we gotta go runner runner Icker Wellsprings into deadly disputes at this point. Find a bargain. So gonna play this tower and pass. Bargain can help us dig. Well, I shouldn't F6 because if they mm -hmm. it's not very many ways out of this one. So far we've lost a mirror retriever and that's it though. Boom boom boom. They're going for the scry. They went double top. Does that mean you have another paladin? Gets in for five. Maybe they're holding dust to us. It's not like we're going to play into it. Find a wellspring. Things are happening. Bam. Wellspring. Yeah, that's how we dig. A foundry. All right, so we need two retrievers. We also have to be able to play through ephemerate on the Dawn Raider Cleric. There's another altar, another wellspring. In order to not play creatures, or uh, not die to dust to dust here, we can just grudge our own wellspring to draw a card. There's a mirror retriever, pass the turn. All right, we're getting close. We have to hope that they tap out and don't have ephemerate somehow. And get rid of some lands. Still gonna hold the swamp. Let's go. Okay. You get a treasure token. I don't know if they're playing ephemerate or not. I should probably look that up. Let's go ahead and take that take a look. Oh I'm still uh Still recording. Whoopsies. Okay, back back we go. I meant to pause, but I didn't pause. <laughs> okay. Uh, we looked it up. They don't seem to be playing Ephemerate. Pass the turn. Plays a Skyfisher to pick up Paladin, maybe? They pick up the Dawnbringer. Green. They're going to get rid of our Grudge, so we'll get rid of your Treasure Token. Thank you, use the treasure token. All right. So, how can we win? That's a start, I guess. Foundry. Foundry again. <laughs> Foundry again. What's the best way? I guess we play the altar here. Some golems. Always yes. Then we're going to play this mirror retriever. Making some golems. If we hit the mirror retriever, we'll be good. If we hit like Conjurer's Bobble, did we already get rid of a bobble? No. One retriever down. Blood Fountain would be nice. Are you playing Ephemerate? That's what it comes down to, right? Fairy Macabre. Alright. Bummer City Town. Population me. Play this. Okay, play this. Pass the turn. Man. Looks like crop is not a requirement. We gotta cut the crop for post board. Very macabre, bro. Did not see that. Oops, sorry. Th double fairy macabre, duress, darkness. All right, whatever. I'm ready. 
This is where we just just die. That's the turn. I've made mistakes. I'm playing loosey goosey. Although I drew a bajillion lands, right? So what are you gonna do? One, two, three bargains. I should be on. I just feel like there needs to be a way to get to eight eight deadly disputes in the deck. <laughs> okay, use your removal spells. One. Need another one. Two. Okay. So we're looking for some stuff again. We're probably going to concede. Uh, let's map. Really uh, not doing very well here. Very macabre is really difficult to deal with. Map, Grotto, let's see what's on top. Give us some hope. We're way ahead, but I still want to scoot. All right, top that, pass the turn. We have nothing. They have dusted us. They have another throne. They're going to put a fairy macabre, maybe? No, another paladin, which gets to cycle, you know, shuffle their deck again. Yep. Wrecked. Distress. Wow. Clearly a good uh, hand from my part. They're going to dust it, dust us, and we're just going to concede because we can't win now. Disappoint. All right. Um, get rid of these. Wilson Marasa, I guess. Scattershot can get rid of their guy. Whatever. Turning the crop. Just more anti graveyard hate stuff. So you can see here, like, Maybe I just should have put more combo pieces in the main deck. I'm finding this deck quite difficult to build. Appreciate it if you're sticking around, trying to see all the rounds. We're going we're gonna to quit at 8, it seems like. Round the play. I didn't submit my changes. Mulligan this. We have Mine Tower. Keep. Get rid of the weather. Play the Mine and the Star. Let's try to play through or around Dust to Dust, as well as the Fairy Macabs, the Dawnbringers and the Nonsense, the Fractor to draw a card, find another tower, which means we can Deadly Dispute the Chromatic Star. Are we going to Distress me? No. Thraven Inspector. Okay. Another Deadly Dispute. I think I just pass. End step deadly dispute so that we play around bog. We're gonna get in. Hopefully we don't get a Okiva gang anytime soon. Funny how they like disputed they reckoners bargained their land and they still like were able to get there. Power move. Let's go, deadly dispute. Got another dispute. And a wellspring. Okay. Yeah, let's play this wellspring out. What's happening? They deadly dispute their creature. All right. We draw a card. A bottle. Black. I'm going to deadly dispute this wellspring. No lands, huh? That stinks. Let's play this bottle out and then pass. I'm going to discard the chromatic star. And then I really. Should have not used that thing. Oh god. Okay, I'm going to bobble back the dispute. Hoping to draw land. I meant to pause on their upkeep so that I didn't accidentally get dusted. There's a fairy macabre number one. They get rid of the bobble. No draw for me. No soup for you. You to get no soup. Hopefully, I don't know if you know that reference. Okay. Uh, play well, sorry. Attempt to draw a card. Okay, we find the power plant. Find a. We can play another wellspring now. Swamp. That's the turn. So if we find double retriever and foundry, we're good. <laughs> only only need everything. Currently, they're not going to dust the dust us. Get in for one. Okay. We will continue disputing. We drew all our disputes early, which is very good. 
but it means we're going to start flooding out hard later probably. Draw a map. Okay, draw and play land, play a refractor. Only one refractor is left in the deck. Draw a card, play a map. I think I'm going to take it slow. We can discard the swamp. We're getting pretty close. Discard the swamp. They could have another Fairy Macabs, right? So we have to be able to play through that. But the rest of their stuff is sorcery speed because they can't pick up and replay their creature that fast. They're going to distress us. That that blows fiercely. I guess we just have to let it happen. They get rid of the Golden Foundry. We have more of those on the deck. Three more in the deck. It's in for two. Okay. We're going to grab some mana with the expedition map. Or should I get the polluted mire? I'll get the mire. Use my mana. Cycle right now. A star. It's black. Bargain this wellspring. We are drawing cards. There's one retriever. And a foundry. Okay. So we have some of the parts. Play this, play star, play a map, or should we bargain the star right now? I think no. Play the map. Pass the turn. They draw a card with a clue. It seems like we might want a map or a grotto, but I'm not sure. I want to catch them with their pants down trying to play an initiative creature. They crack a clue. Are you going to distress me again? They get in for one. They're going to put me to 17. Okay. One mana. Two mana. Don't distress me. Ugh. I'm going to Reckoner's Burning this Chromatic Star. Draw a bunch of cards. A Wellspring. So that's good. Deadly Dispute. Crack this map. Grab another tower. We already found a grotto, so it's fine. We have a lot of options. They probably need to get rid of the altar. They get rid of the mirror retriever. We have to play the fountain out. Second foundry is down. Okay. Let's start drawing more cards. Play Acre Wellspring. Another altar. Black. Deadly Dispute this Wellspring. We're at 23 cards in the deck. We're basically almost drew our entire deck. I feel like they're going to use the Macabre soon. They find a Pulse of Marasa. And a Weather. So little going on. Uh, let's scry. Rock Rotation is bad. So we'll bottom that. Feel that I need to pass the turn again, which is stinky. I'm going to discard. They draw a card. We're going to discard these power plants and this swamp. And I guess the other tower. Would have maybe discarded the weather storm or just cast it to not have to discard. Yep, there's a Bajuka Bog. It's in for one. Play a sphere. Crack it for black. They have seven cards in hand. They're trying to beat us down with their. Uh... Okay, how many retreaters have we lost? None so far. So let's take a little risk here, I guess. Play the blood fountain out. I'm afraid of a. Um, dust dust on this fountain, though. Let's go Retriever. Go ahead and Reckoner's Bargain the Retriever to get a cantrip. They're not going to do anything, so no Macabre yet. Find a Refractor. Draw a card. We have the Pulse of Morosa for a Macabre on that. 
<sighs> okay, okay. Chromatic Sphere. Crack it for green. Looking for the second Mirror Retriever. Find a Golem Foundry. So we're just going to cast Weather the Storm. That's the turn. Oh no, we're getting to the point where looping is going to be tough. What are the odds they have a core Skyfisher for the bog? They deadly dispute their Thraven Inspector. We're getting to the point where we actually might have to munitions kill, which will time us out. That might be sad. Three mana, they're going to dust to dust, so we're going to black, get back the retriever. That worked. Okay, they dusted us one refractor. You're going to pass. All right, I guess it's go time. We have Pulse of Marasa. Foundry. Foundry. Okay. Play Altar. Always yes. And then we'll play the Munitions. Pass the Mirror Retriever. They've used one macabre so far. I think maybe we can fight through a second one. Don't know yet. Cast a mirror retriever. What's gonna happen? They're gonna blow up the mirror retriever. So if they kill the mirror retriever now, we're gonna sacrifice it. It gives us mana. We get back to Blood Fountain. They're going to allow it. Play black. Play the Blood Fountain. So we will alter the retriever. So they must have a freaking macabre plant in hand. They don't. Don't understand what's happening. Okay, Blood Fountain resolves. We get a token. We play the retriever. Okay. Sacrifice the retriever. Get back the retriever. If you have the macabre at this point, I win. Okay, play this. Gonna blood token away this altar. Then blood token away this land. Make a golem. Golem. Make some golems. Okay. Back retriever. Do it over and over again. So now we need to make a ton of golems if we want to shoot them this turn. I guess we win. Okay. GG's. That was tough. That was very tough. Lots of in, lots of disruption. Kind of like a, a game of chicken. And then at the end, we finally got there. So uh, four and three. One more round to go. I'll see you in the final round. Round seven, eight. Let's see. Round eight of eight. Let's go. We're versus the McWin sauce. Known Magic Online grinder. Uh, we're going to keep because we have Tron. No colors, though. I have no idea whether on the last time that they had a popper posting, it was Orzhov Ephemerate. We'll see if it's that again. Maybe not. Uh, mono red, it looks like. So they're going to bash us, replay the bobble. Pass the turn. Yep. <clears throat> this means that. <coughs> wow. Whoa. No turn one Swiss beer, but they are playing red. They're reckless impulse, so that's. I guess it's gonna be a turn two Swifty. We're gonna draw a card. Play the power plant. Lay out a mirror retriever. Make them use their mana to kill my mirror retriever. So instead of them dealing me a bunch, they're gonna do me a lot less than a bunch. A lightning bolt the retriever. Yep. No, they both face. And then end the festivities. That's a yikes. We play the tower. We know we want to cast weather right now. We're going to go Wellspring first. Try to draw a card. Looking for colored sources. Play the bobble. Play the sphere. Draw a card. Power plant. I think, unfortunately, have to go map into bargain the wellspring and we're going to discard rock rotation 
we are stuck on colors, that's for sure. We're going, we're at 15. So triple bolt would be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Put us to 2. They're going to Renz Resolve to draw two cards. Play a mountain and Renz Resolve again, maybe. Or Reckless Impulse this time. Get in for three. Kabam. That was a heck of a rip. We get the Energy Refractor into play. Play Power Plant. Play Sphere. Crack for black. Play a star. We're going to Deadly Dispute on the Expedition map. And then play a Weather the Storm. Boing. Gain 15. So if we can hit a Mirror Retriever, we have infinite life, which is sweet. We did prepare for this matchup. Okay, one Storm. <clears throat> this is our second Weather the Storm of the deck. Plays a Thermo Alchemist. Plays a Kessig. Not great. Gets in. Storm is three. I think I'm just going to pass. So I'm going to try Bargain on the star to draw three cards. We draw Refractor. And we draw the Retriever. So we have Retriever. Mine. Play Altar. Play Star. Now I'm going to gain 100 life, okay? Yeah, okay. That's fine. We gain 100 life. It's what we like to do. Go this way. Mirror Retriever. Always yield here. And then, unfortunately, I'll see you in like five minutes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, one thing of note when you're comboing on Magic Online is that this Mirror Retriever loop is a lot faster when you're not using the Golem Foundry because we can just Retriever for the Retriever over and over. And uh, there's no trigger passing priority and stuff as long as your opponent is F6. So we could just go to 40 life or, or 40 storm probably pretty easily. And then eventually get to the point where we ping them out with the munitions, with the slow munitions loops. Do I have a land drop? I do not. Okay. He said he would scoop to the weather. I'm just going to go to 30 storm first. I appreciate that, sir. Play this. Do do do. 20. Just to make sure that I can get enough. I want to have 90 life. Storm is 26. So now what I'm going to do is go 27, 28, 29, 30, green. That's weather. <clears throat> just wanted to make sure that we are fully good to go and then and likely just win the game through the makeshift munitions. And opponent was very kind and conceded to the uh, large amount of life, so thank you. And we're going to bring in our land gain or life gain stuff, our quarks, cutting on the combo pieces. Uh, we also need a ancient grudge. Let's think this one through. So what's the best thing to have? I think the bobble is not required. It is a nice draw though. Pulsum or also might not be required. I had in the past gotten away with just a couple of shamans versus them. So maybe that's the best play, just two shamans to eventually wipe the board. We know we want the grudge. I'm just second guessing the crud out of myself lately. <laughs> Let's keep this. We have an early uh, bargain or deadly dispute on the wellspring. We also have the map. I think I will go this way. Play the star. I'm going to bottom the star. Play a chromatic sphere. The reason I didn't play the map there was because I was afraid of the shatter or something. Uh, let's grotto again. Mine on top. Lay out this wellspring. After we play the mine, we can pass the turn, and then, assuming they don't blow up our lands, we can respond at the end of their turn with Deadly Dispute into Weather and Storm. We play Thermal Alchemist. They are going to be uh, chaining a lot. Pretty scary. Pass the turn. 
So now every bolt gets plus three damage. Ugh. Thermo, ping. Plays a reckless. Okay. We're yielding to all the things. I mean, there's something to be said for not cracking the sphere. They find no lands. Double resolve. So, are they going to cast it? They cast a synthesizer looking for lands. They find a thermo alchemist. So, that was kind of a bummer for them. I think that it's optimal for us to just deadly dispute into a, well, into a weather the storm here. Because that'll gain us a bunch of life. Black. Cast Deadly Dispute on the Wellspring. Storm is three. Another Weather is good. Green. Cast Weather the Storm. Pass the turn. Okay, we draw. Play a Grotto. Taking a slow. I don't know if Reckoner's Barton is where we want to be right now. We need, we need the right lands. We're going to play Expedition Map. Pass the turn. A Ping. Play a Ren's Resolve. So will they be able to hit another Ren's Resolve off that? That's or any lands. They hit a raise. So are they going to blow up my land here? At this point, we are so far from Tron that I'm not sure what to do. Like, if they raise us, we could crack for a land, but it doesn't matter that much. They're going to play a reckless impulse. Or Renzer's or whatever. Draw a bunch more cards. So they find a Shattering Blow and a Mountain. We can attempt to make their Shattering Blow suck. I just, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We know they have the Rays. Let's just bargain this map. Drawing some cards. Okay, they're going to get in. We find a Tower. I assume they're going to raise us, right? So if they have raise, they can cast all three spells. They have raise and shattering blow. But I'm going to pass. Oh man, that was maybe not the right play, I guess. I'm going to discard the polluted mire or the fountain. Polluted mire. Maybe I should have discarded the swamp because the next turn I can go land map. Kind of depends if they raise one of the Tron lands or not. Reckless Impulse. They find another raise. Ha! <laughs> Classic. Sacrifice all my lands. You sacrifice all your lands. Okay, I will tap it for mana. Right now this is 3-4 damage. Digging in for 4. I kind of expect them to play another spell. That's why I'm not... Um, casting the weather right now. They have three cards in hand. They're going to raise my other land. Okay. Probably shouldn't auto yielded. That's the turn. We're dead now if they have this interaction. We don't. We're to 16. Now we can play the wellspring and then bargain it. Press wellspring. Another Weather the Storm. Can't cast it though. They ping us. They've cast two raises so far. Swiss Beard doing work. They have another Mountain. We have not seen any of our Krarks. I probably should just bargain this right now so that they can't hit it with their uh, Shattering Blows. Fine. Uh, Fangren Marauder doesn't help. Lava Dart is representing 6 damage. We lava Dart us. So right now we are going to 9. Play a Relic. That puts us to 7. Lava Dart puts us to 3. I don't see how we're going to get out of this one, that's for sure. I think we need more uh, Krarks on the deck. That's, that's my professional opinion. Blood Fountain was, is going to be useful eventually. They raised my last land. Okay, fine. Jeesh. Concede. 
Burn seven attack with a million billion things. All right, whatever. Bring the Krark. So I got this bauble. Submit. Okay, this time we're on the play. <clears throat> well, we have a wet, an early weather of the storm. We have Grudge. I'm gonna keep it. Doesn't feel that good. Star pass. Weather of the storm is like our best card. Swifty. Attack. Land. We can go back for black. Play Mirror Retriever. Plan on blocking to get the star back. We play a relic. I'm ever so disappointed now. Alright, no blocks. That sucks. Play Refractor. Draw, swing. They play a synthesizer. We are kind of hosed, but they're not doing great either. Swinging it for one. We need a way to take out the relic. I'm going to play the wellspring. Then I'm going to attack. Find the tower. So now we can crawl for Tron. I feel like everything's coming up roses. Kablam! Let's see what happens. Second land! Plays a Kessick Flame Breather. Okay, okay, okay. Green. Crop. Your relic is no good here. Grab the mine. We didn't play a land yet. So how risky are we going to be? Probably not that risky. Going to go... Red. Blast this relic. They're going to relic my crop. Relic down. One down. Green, or it would go red here. Quarkland Shaman. We're going to sacrifice the Refractor. Sacrifice the Wellspring. And sacrifice the Mirror Retriever. And get back the Refractor. Draw a card. Nothing good. Well, a Deadly Dispute is good, but it's not where we wanted to be. They go with the mountain into a shattering blow. All right. We can play the refractor, play the mirror retriever. We can play the refractor, and but that doesn't really help that much. We can play the mirror retriever. They go for blow on the mirror retriever. We deadly dispute the mirror retriever. I would like to try to take out that synthesizer, but I can't use it. I'm going to Lightning Bolt face. Okay. We're at 11. Mountain. Can they deal me 11 damage? They go for the Shattering Blow. We have the Deadly Dispute to draw cards and pick up the Mirror Retriever. We also have Blood Fountain to get back the Krark. Draw much cards. I think we're in a good position. Okay. 11. 11 life. Play a refractor. Draw. Play a sphere. Play a star. Really dispute the sphere. Or the star. Not the sphere. Not the sphere. Draw. We got a mine. Play the mine. Play star. Play map. And we just go ahead and cast a weather of the storm here for a million billion. And I guess maybe we end up five five and three in the event. Let's see. We still have to defeat our opponent somehow. We have a lot of life now. Got a couple of ways to get back to Tron if they raise us. We have Ancient Grudge for a relic. Let's see what happens. They go bolt face. We're at 29. Now we're looking to get to the point where we can get our um, makeshift munitions. Ren's Resolve. Finds a Swifty. Okay. So they're going to go Swift Spear. Alright. Swift Spear comes in hot. Draw a card. Step one, grab another land. 
going to get the tower this time. Play the tower. Play the blood fountain. Okay, so that gives us the Krark back. Krark, mirror. Black. Play mirror retriever. Mirror retriever. Shattering wall of the mirror retriever. So we will deadly dispute the mirror retriever. Putting back the blood fountain. We're going to move off of our plan here. We draw the munitions. Now I'm just going to pass. And then next turn I can start hitting them with munitions. We have Blood Fountain in hand. They crack. Find another Shattering Blow, which means we will just Reckoner's Bargain our creature. We kind of had it this game. Bam. Get back the Mirror Trigger. Gain two life, get popped for two, no problem. So we have a tower, which can convert into uh, two mana to cast the makeshift munitions. Then we start taking out their stuff. Bash this. Get back near retriever. Play, play it again. All right, we got there. Wow, tough. Tough battle. We win the match. Let's go to the standings. Looks like we were in way the heck down there uh, place. Can we make it to top 32? That would be really sick. If we didn't, we'd probably make it to top 64. So we could get, you know, a little bit of the 4 1 experience. And uh, 5 and 3 is not terrible. We got Ixidor up here, Bernus Taurus always crushing it. Brivenix, good for them. 7 1. Impressive. Anybody else? I don't know this person. Couple uh, burn gamers up here. And uh, I'll keep you informed on how we did, but uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.